This is Midweek Politics with Dave Pakman. Hey, welcome to the show. David Pakman here. Later today, we'll talk to Bill Scher and Kristen Soltis. We'll do our election predictions, Lewis. I know you have yours ready to go. And I have to admit, I'm very curious as to what Lewis's guess will be. I'm hoping his guess isn't so absurd that it will it will be silly, you know? But he claims to have done his research. I think it's it's safe. It's not outrageous. Okay. And then a little bit later, we'll talk to Wayne Besson from truthwinsout.org. So a lot going on. I want to get right into Juan Williams. Juan Williams was fired from NPR, as you may have heard. He is a longtime Fox News contributor. He was fired for a comment he made about Muslims. He said, well, I'll play it for you. This is the conversation. Now, the comment... The specific comment that he was fired for was uh, about he gets nervous. Muslims make him nervous when they're in Muslim garb on the same plane as him. Is that right? Let's let's take a listen to it. And uh, then we can decide whether this. uh, There's a lot to talk about here. Juan Williams. So Juan, I got to tell everybody, I got to own up to this. That that Talking Points memo is really written by Alan Combs. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so, So where am I going wrong there, Juan? Well, actually, uh, I hate to say this to you because I don't want to get your ego going, but I think you're right. I think, look, political correctness can lead to some kind of paralysis where you don't address reality. I mean, look, Bill, I'm not a bigot. You know the kind of books I've written about the civil rights movement in this country. But when I get on a plane, I got to tell you, if I see people who are in Muslim garb, and I think, you know, they're identifying themselves first and foremost as Muslims, I get worried. I get nervous. Now, okay. I remember... so. He, th- this is the comment he was fired for. And I'm going to be very upfront with you here, Lewis. I think NPR made a huge mistake by firing him on this for a number of different reasons. What's the, what's the biggest reason? Well, well here's the thing. And he, sh- he should and could have been fired by NPR long ago for playing a fake liberal on Fox News, right? I mean, it's bad. It, it, NPR has a long history of not wanting their people, their reporters, to be giving their opinion on other media outlets. Fine. Tell him he can't do that long ago. Tell, to say you don't want their people doing opinion journalism, but to fire him for this is not good for, for a number of dis- different reasons. Number one, you know that I am the first to call people racists, right? I mean, I love calling people racists. It's, it's almost every week on the show. Yeah. Rarely does context change what somebody said, but really the context here I think was important in the sense that the entire discussion was about how we should not be discriminating against Muslims and... And, and this really was, I hate to say it because it's so cliche, but it was taken out of context. Now, I want to be very clear. I am no fan of, of Juan Williams. I have never liked him on Fox News. I thought he was put up there purposely to be kind of the weak liberal who half the time agreed with the conservative viewpoint anyway. I am not a fan of Williams at all. But I believe that this was a mistake to fire him. Now, the other thing is that he makes one good point which is we can't even have a discussion about a lot of these things because immediately there are accusations of racism. Now, Lewis— It's funny, and then he gets fired for it. You're, you're half—essentially half of your family is Muslim, right? I mean, your mom's side is Jewish, your dad's side is Muslim. Your dad right. specifically doesn't consider him—isn't a practicing Muslim. Right. Now, what, what's your reaction when you hear something like this? I agree with you, but— You know, I think it's in the back of a lot of people's minds. And he just said what was on a lot of people's minds. I mean, I don't think it was it was racist. I don't think he was being a bigot. I think what he said is true. I started getting emails from people. So, well, it's true that that's how he feels. Now, here's I started getting emails from people saying if he said when he sees black people on an airplane, he gets nervous and that would be clearly racist. Nobody would be arguing with that. Well, what about that? Okay. yeah, good point. I'm just playing devil's advocate mm-hmm. because, because my position on this is, you know, it would be great to have an adult conversation about the fact that, uh, we, you know, we don't have to go to the extremes to discuss this. And my sense is this. If I, I, the last four flights I was on, okay, um, on, on at least one of them, there was somebody in what Williams is describing as Muslim garb. Now, because of the media environment that we live in and, and what we've been exposed to on radio and television and movies since 9-11, let's just be honest. When you see somebody dressed that way, which, by the way, they may not even be Muslim. We might be talking about Sikhs right. who wear turbans and have nothing to do with the Muslim religion. When we see that, we are conditioned in a certain way, for better or for worse, but it's the reality, to make a certain connection in our minds. Mm-hmm. Now, that doesn't mean we can't be adults and say, hold on a second. 
my mind went to a certain place because of what I'm exposed to constantly on radio and TV. But the reality is, when I think about this rationally, that there's no reason to be nervous and I am not nervous. And you know, if you ask me, well, which one of those last four flights were the, were, was this group of people in so-called Muslim garb who may not even have been Muslims? I couldn't tell you. I would assume it wasn't on the flight to Argentina because it, it just wouldn't make sense. It was probably going to DC or to Chicago. Right. Why can't we have that discussion without it devolving into he is a so-called bigot, which we saw with Rick Sanchez, and by the way, I believe was true in that case. Mm -hmm. Why can't we do that? We just can't. It's one of two extremes. Either you are uh, making anti-Muslim racism claims, or you are saying people are being unrealistic and denying Muslim involvement in terrorism. Those are the two extremes that we get. Why can't we have the reasonable discussion? Political correctness. So you agree with, with Williams here? Oh, of course. He's absolutely right. Do you think you'll get fired? Do I think I'll get fired? <laughs> if, if, Listen, it, it, here's, here's the reality. That aside, here's why it was a mistake for NPR. When was the last time that NPR made national headlines for anything interesting happening on the air that you can remember, Lewis? When they fired Juan Williams. Before that. Yeah. You can't that, remember, no. right? I mean, NPR is is struggling in some senses in terms of fundraising and in a number of different ways, as is PBS, and that could be due to the, to the economy, maybe, I don't know. NPR goes out and they fire Williams. What does this do? This gives Fox News an incredible amount of fodder, and now they can say, hey, listen, why, why, are, we, why are we saying that, that, uh, that NPR is fostering debate and discussion? This guy says this one comment, it's taken out of context, and they fire him. And not only that, NPR CEO Vivian Schiller makes it even worse by talking about William's psychiatrist. They could not have handled this situation worse. And let me play this video for you here. And, uh, and, and I just don't understand what on earth is it that they're doing? What are they trying to achieve with this type of commentary? Juan feels the way he feels. That is not for me to, ju to pass judgment on. That is really his feelings that he expressed on Fox News are really between him and his you know, psychiatrist or his publicist or, or take your pick. Um, but it is not compatible okay. with a news analyst. So v Vivian Schiller, NPR president and CEO, says that big mistake. Again, a big mistake. She just looks like she is taking a swipe at him. That's the type of thing he should discuss with a psychiatrist. She apologized for it. NPR doesn't look good. Uh, I, I, I don't know. You know, the, the reality is my sense, and it was clear that NPR has been upset about Williams appearing on Fox News regularly for a while. Right. You think this just could have been an excuse to get rid of him? And in a sense, Vivian Schiller did say that, saying this is not the first time they've had this type of issue. But the anti-NPR stuff is now happening. I hate to be honest because I, I, I don't want to see this happen, but NPR will suffer as a result of this. What we can be sure of is that Fox won't fire him. Uh, for they, they haven't disciplined him. They're not going to fire him. I mean, you can even joke about uh, killing the president on Fox News and you don't get fired. And I actually have, have an example of that. This is Liz Trotta, who did some kind of commentary on, uh, on Fox News, and she jokingly that talked about well. the president. Uh, the vast right-wing conspiracy uh, blame uh, has been undermined by her evasions by her uh, outright lies, if I may say, by her pandering, by her race baiting. And now we have what uh, some are reading as a suggestion that somebody knock off Os Os Osama, um, uh, Obama. Obama. <laughs> well, both, we, well, we could. Well, that was, <laughs> well, you know, okay, so you can joke around. It's very clear. You can joke around on Fox News about killing the president and you're not going to get fired. So Williams is safe now with a three-year, $2 million contract. NPR comes out the loser in this. I mean, tell me where I'm wrong. No, no, I guess you're right. I mean, I don't think they're losing a great deal by firing him, but just from a, a PR standpoint, I guess. It's just opening up the door to a lot of criticism. And, you know, I'll open it up to our, to our audience. Should Williams have been fired? You can log on to midweekpolitics.com. It's our new poll. You tell me. Uh, I believe that he should not have been fired. for uh, There's the, the two different reasons. Just from a, a standpoint of what does NPR need to do to not have an even worse perception nationally. And it was not this. Believe me, it was not this. And I, I really, I am the first to want to say that people are racist. And if you really listen to the context, Williams is, is not that liberal and he's not that compelling on Fox News, but I don't believe that, that he is a racist. I hate, uh, it, it just, it's not, it's, I just don't believe he is. 
Right, neither do I. I think uh, the Rick Sanchez thing was deserved this. I don't think so. Midweek Politics is made possible by listeners like you and by Greenfield Savings Bank, building a strong community one account at a time with neighborhood offices in Greenfield, Amherst, Conway, Shelburne Falls, South Deerfield, and Turner's Falls, and online at greenfieldsavings.com. By the Daily Hampshire Gazette and gazettenet.com, connecting our communities with local news and information. By DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. Find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics at midweekpolitics.com.